You was walking around this party like you don't know what happens when the sun goes down and the moon comes up. The blunts go round, everybody getting drunk all night. You know we put it down, put it down all night. Hey, we go fuck around, fuck around. What's good, you two? That what I need to hear back again on once again. And today, people, today we're for episode number 21 of our Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Play. In the last episode, you guys, we had an hour of power. We went to the top of Well Level Kano Park and we took on Kiawe or Captain Trial Trial Captain Trial Captain Kiawe and completed our third island challenge. And today we're gonna go past the Trial Captain gates and see what else lies for us here on Akala Island because we do still have another trial and a, a Kahuna to take on, on this island. So if you guys are hyped for today's episode, and of course if you're a proud member of the Happy Nation, make sure you smash the like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated and you already know can't nobody let's play a motherfucking game like the Nappy Nation can. Let's get a quick recap of our squad up until this point. We've had a lot of uh, a lot of mons that we are debating adding to the squad right now. I, I do. I, I haven't ruled anything out. There are a lot of mods that I want to add to the squad. It's just too many to choose. But of course, we have Frankie, our Brion, Encore Scald, Aqua Jet, Disarming Voice with the Water Z. That's our child right there. That is our child. We have Delilah, our Mudbray with High Horsepower, Double Kick, Stomp, and Bulldoze holding that Quick Claw. Humongous, our Lolan Grinder with Minimized Poison Fang, Acid Spray, Bite holding the Poison Barb. And then Gabrielle, our Oricoria with Feather Dance, Air Cutter, Peck, Baton Pass, and that Sharp Beak. So, let us continue on, Tay fuck up out of here, let us hop on our, we got Charizard Glide in the last episode too, let's hop on our Tauros, cause why not, let's hop on our Tauros cause why not, we gotta, we gotta ride, we gotta feckin' ride, we gotta feckin' ride to our heart's content, and I guess there isn't another, uh, job for us, cause I thought that there was like a Cubone quest or some shit, someone asked us about Cubone, but, I guess not. Oh, that's the Fiery MZ! Congratulations on clearing Kiawe's trial! In that case... Yeah, like, the, the Z crystals are like badges in this game. Like, it shows up on your save screen and everything. It's really, it's really odd. Here you go, you're free to pass. Captain Mallow's trial is up ahead. Go along Route 8 and you'll find it. Lush jungle, honey. Lush jungle. The next trial site should be past Route 8 and it's salty, it's salty breeze perfect for rusting my parts. No one asked. No one asked, buddy. No one asked. Down the hole we go. Ho oh, ho, Route 8. Hello. What's that? You wanna battle me even when I'm using my full force? Fine, then beat every other trainer on Route 8 and then we can talk. Beat every other trainer on Route 8. Jesus. I'm gonna be a dick about it. Did your Pokemon use refresh? Those Poke Beans that can give your Pokemon in Pokemon Refresh can actually be collected in Poke Pelago. Did you know that? Poke Pelago. Is that that island shit? I say that like we're not on an island right now. Yeah. Uh -huh. Wait, there's a, there's a, hey, a zigger cube. What is this? Get off the Taurus, my dude. What the fuck is this? Hello? Why, hello, trainer. It looks like you got a Pokedex on you. Would you like to do a little part-time work on behalf of the Aether Foundation? Sure. We at the Aether Foundation work to protect Pokemon through conservation. In order to protect Pokemon, though, we must know a good deal about them and how they live. Right now, we are surveying the Stuffle that live on Route 8! Ah! The Foundation is collecting its own data, of course, but we'd also like to know what the data the Pokedex records records about them. So your job, if you should choose to accept, would be to register the Stuffle on Route 8 in your Pokedex and then show us the data. We will pay you for the work, of course. I hope you'll help us out. Absolutely! I want a Stuffle anyways! We are members of the Aether Foundation. We work to carry out the conservation efforts and care for Pokemon that have been hurt by bad people like those Team Skull thugs. Slowpoke's tail has fully regrown now, but Pokemon should be like family. Team Skull can't get away with crimes like this. Those Team Skull scoundrels. Even if Slowpoke tails are delicious, you can't go ripping them off like they're yours to take. Hello. Hello. Bro. I, didn't, I, didn't, I wasn't trying to talk to you. I was trying to look at the Pokeballs. So, I mean, I don't mind doing it. There are a lot, there's a lot that points to Team Aether being bad people. Oh, who the fuck is... Uh, what? You there. Who the hell? <gasps> it's Colrus! From 5th Gen! What? Oh, excuse me. I am a scientist. My name is Colrus. The theme of my research is bringing out the potential of Pokemon. What... Pokemon, what brings up the power of Pokemon is, I believe that is the bond they share with their trainers. And thus my attention is drawn to trainers like yourself. Trainers bound to their Pokemon through the power of the Z-Ring. Now that I think of it, I never asked your name. 
Nappy, is it? I'll remember your name. To commemorate our encounter, let me give you a TM. Bro? It's fucking Chorus? What the hell? If you're able to utilize Flame Charge fully, you'll be able to have a great battle with the Totem in the next trial. The trial in the lush jungle. Z Power. It is the true potential that I seek. Does it surpass the Mega Ring? Apparently there are uninhabited islands for Pokemon called Pokepelago here in Alola. Alola is fascinating. I believe I will stay in Alola for some time. Well then, Nappy, I hope to see you again sometime. He doesn't stop computing. Bro, Chorus from Fitchin? Bro, Chorus? My nigga Chorus, though? Yo, I need a Stuffle, though. I'm trying to get a Stuffle. I want a Stuffle on the squad. That's one mod that I know I really do want. Because it's so fucking, it's fucking cute, man. It's fucking cute. Like, we needed another goddamn Big Pearl. But I do want to get a Stuffle, and if that just happens to fit with uh, them and they want to pay me for it, then I'll give them the fucking research. Are we going to get a Stuffle, my dudes? Can we get a Stuffle? That is a Slandit. That is not a Stuffle. That right there is not a Stuffle. Is Stuffle, like, the rare encounter on this route? I don't know. I don't know. Where's that Stuffle at? Where's the stuff on? We're on Route 8, right? And the other trainer said that she would battle us if we battle all the other trainers on Route 8. Holy shit! Chopping down, but why the fuck could he see me from all the way up there? What the hell? You're a cock. Rising Star Mikey. What the fuck? Bound Sweet? Oh no, this is a grass type. I should have taught what's in it, what we call it, acrobatics. We have Encore! I should get rid of Encore for acrobatics, just for a situation like this. What the hell? I'm, do I'm doing that. Why do we still have Encore? What the fuck? What the feck? What the absolute feck? What the feck? So if Lush Jungle is the next place, it sounds like a... Yo, that means they have water, fire, grass trials on this island. It sounds like a grass trial. So, we have Humongous here and Gabriel who can help us with grass types. We will literally rip them to shreds. And this bounce sweet, you are about to catch the utmost of work. Catch this poison fang, my dude. Yeah. Get destroyed. Get destroyed, my dude. Absolutely worked. Trumbeak? <gasps> what is a Trumbeak? Is that what... What you McCoy evolves into? Piggy Peck? Piggy Peck evolves into Trumbeak, and then does Trumbeak evolve into... Toucanon? I think was his name? Or is Toucanon a separate Pokemon on its own? Because this looks just like uh, Piggy Peck. But two cannon, it has cannon in the name. I mean, what? It has two cannon in the name, and Picky Peck and this thing don't look like a two cannon at all. Go get that poison. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Wait, this thing had rock smash just now? I just attacked it, and it did not turn into a Zoroark, so I, I'm confused. This thing gets rock smash? Oh, it's beat just went. Nyeh. Nyeh. Yeah, that was rock smash for those rock types. Beat the fuck out of them. Think just because I'm a bird, you're gonna body me? Oh no 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 no! Oh no 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 no! Bro, can you not? Can you fucking not? Yeah, get the dick, Trumbeak. Yo, I might have to scoop up that bird. Then we have to get rid of Gabrielle, though. We can't have two flying types. But then again, I want to have Frankie and uh, whatchamacallit on our squad at the same time. The, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, Marini. But Marini's just fucking dope, yo. I don't care. Marini's fucking dope. A hyper potion. Okay, so if we're gonna encounter a uh, shit ton of grass types here, then we need to put Gabrielle and Humongous up front. Because Delilah. Oh, wait, 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 I'm gonna teach acrobatics. Delilah and, uh, Frankie here aren't gonna be doing too well. But acrobatics works better when you don't have, I mean, I guess it's, it, 
it works better when you don't have a hold item, but it gives us an option instead of no option at all. And it's not like we're using Encore anyways, so. Fack it. Fack it, fack it, fack it, fack it. Come here. I need to battle you anyways. I want to battle you anyways, boy. I mean, girl. <laughs> Whatever the fuck you are. Alright, come, come. <clears throat> Backpacker Kiana. Mm. Backpacker Kiana. She has just an Eevee? Bro? What the fuck? With just an Eevee? Yo, catch this air cutter, though. I'm just ready for you to learn this revelation dance or whatever it is so we can have an electric type move. That's all I really want. All a nigga really want is you. All a nigga really want is you. Oh, and from a couple episodes back, I found out what the name of that song was. Remember that song? I couldn't remember. It was Your Lips, Eyes, Got Me Hypnotized, Let's Ride. It's a song called Duck Off by V.I.C. Remember V.I.C.? That gets silly. Get silly, get silly, get silly. That song from like 10 years ago, he made that song as well. And it's it's a really good song, I think. It sounds, I mean, the hook sounds fucking dope uh, on it. That's why, that's why I, I remember it. But I just want to catch a stuffle. Can I catch a fucking stuffle, my dudes? Is that too much to ask? Is just one lowly stuffle too much to ask? Oh shit! Is this another crab brawler? You trying to brawl, bro? Hey, my nigga. <laughs> what is the eyeball hanging out like that? Hey, my nigga. What's popping with you, crab brawler? Catch this air cutter, my dude. I'm going away. Yeah. Fuck out of here. How dare you try and stop me from collecting my berries? God damn it. How dare you? Asshole. Alright, let me scoop these up. Yo, I want to get a fucking stuffle. Because you know, you know, uh, what it evolves into, uh, what is it called? Beware? You know it's gonna, it's gonna hit like a fucking truck. You know it's gonna hit like a goddamn truck. So I'm ready to have him on the squad. What's poppin' with you, girl? Trainer detected, I will now commence the attack. So I'm guessing Route 8 goes around the top, and then that lush jungle area will let us out on Route 5 above Brook, uh, Brooklet Hill. And then we can go back down to the city from there. But we still have to go to the south. I guess on the southern tip of the island, that's where the Kahuna's gonna be at? I'm guessing? I'm guessing. I'm gonna guess that. I'm just gonna guess that. I'm gonna guess that. I should feather dance. Are you kidding me? Bro, you're not gonna live long enough to use this bide. You ain't gonna live long enough to use this bide. It was a good, it was a good attempt, Nikki. I'll give you that much. It was a really good attempt, but you ain't never met a nigga like me before. You ain't met a nigga like me before. Take that ski mask cow somewhere else. Take it somewhere else. Frankie's level 26, bro. We are leveling the fuck up! Yeah! But I do want to battle all these trainers. And I want to, like, hold on, I gotta double check. Let me, let me go through this grass. Oh shit. Stuffle, survey says... It's a Trumbeak. I gotta catch this Trumbeak. Your boy is here, and he wants a Trumbeak. Your boy is here, and he wants a Trumbeak. Yeah. Holy shit! Never mind, your boy's not gonna get a Trumbeak. What the fuck? I bet you that's the rare encounter too on this route. I just found it and crit it. Damn it. God damn it, Bobby. Got an Ultra Ball. Okay, I'm gonna backtrack real quick to that, that one little patch of grass that's over there. Just to make sure we didn't miss any trainers. Just to double check and make sure we didn't miss anything. Let's so land it, my dude. Now I'm looking for either a Trumbeak or a Stuffle. That's all I want. That's all your boy wants from this. Either Trumbeak or Stuffle. But I want to double check. We got her. And that's where that other guy was at, right? So what's back here? There's got to be a hidden item over here. If only we had our Stoutland now. What the hell, Nick? I thought I left you back on that other island. 
I didn't just send your dumb ass. I could swear we left you back on that other island. What the hell? Okay, so if we're gonna base the trial captains, the kahunas, based off what they're wearing. There's no hidden item here. No, but there's a regular item here. <laughs> if we're gonna base them off what they're wearing, because Kiawe was fire, Lana was water, and Mallow obviously is grass. Homegirl, whatever the, her, her, the other chick's name was, she had purple on. So she's either gonna be poison or psychic. I wonder. I wonder what she'll be. I wonder what she'll be. What? Where'd this nigga come from? Research, research, I shall research the Pokemon. We caught that nigga off guard. Where the fuck did he come from? What the hell? Scientist Tyrone. Yo name ain't Tyrone, my dude. Shout out to Game Freak for like putting uh, new typing, I mean, uh, diverse names in the game. You know, Tyrone and Tatiana, but you, my, my good sir, you are not a Tyrone. You are not a Tyrone. I know a Tyrone when I see one, and you, you are not a Tyrone. No, 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 no. You are not a Tyrone, my guy. You are not a Tyrone. And if only we had an electric type move, I would have stayed in and bodied that nigga. He probably would have outsped me. Well, he's definitely outspeeding us now. Dude, he got damn. I'm trying to dig down this ace trainer at the start of the route. Or this cool trainer, whatever it is. And you are just a fucking speed bump right now, my dude. You're gonna pluck my water MZ off me? Well, that only works for berries, never mind. Ha! I did so much damage. Yo, drop that attack, please. Or just die. That works too. <laughs> that works too. So, I'm interested. I'm thinking I'm thinking ahead of myself right now. So the next trial is in the lush jungle. So is that like Verdant Cavern and Brooklet Hill? So we're not actually gonna have like another city between now and then. It's just Route 8 goes straight to Lush Jungle. I have a feeling that that's kind of how it's gonna go. Nigga, really? Nigga, really? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this, my guy? You stand no chance. You stand no chance. I'm just battling you to get to your boss on the other side of the route. Just to get to your boss. And I need to double check with our guide at the bottom of the map on the on the Rotom Pokedex. It's funny because Nexus said like the Rotom Pokedex makes it so easy. It literally shows you where the fuck to go. And he's like, and I get lost all the time, so it's great. I'm like, what the hell? How are you gonna sit there and talk about it making it so easy, but you get lost all the time? What the hell is this? Fossil Restoration Center. What? There's a dude near here who says that he wants to make a whole theme park full of nothing but Pokemon restored from fossils. Hold on, that Fossil Restoration Center. That's blowing my mind. Hold on, I want to check that out. I want to check that out. Hold on, so we got a Pokemon Center and another hotel down here. What the hell? Hold on, there's so much to explore! I have to take so much in! Look at the expanse of Blue Sea. Okay, so let me talk to these two people, clear out this hotel, heal up, and then we'll go back to the, the fucking center. She just hit us with a golf club. You harlot. You harlot. God damn it. So this is all still considered Route 8. Golfer male. Is that her name? Male or Miley? Is Meow though? You about to catch the absolute dick. Actually, Gabrielle doesn't have a dick, so... I'm about to catch the absolute clit. <laughs> catch this air cutter, though, my dude. I do want to... I, I can't wait. I want you guys to know, like... I love recording these episodes. I, I love recording this because it's a brand new game and I'm so into it. But I also can't wait until I'm done. So that I can just go back and just explore all the routes. Catch everything that I... I can't, didn't sit here and catch because like no one wants to sit here and just watch you catch Pokemon over and over and over again I know I, I throw a couple encounters here and there in the series uh, But I, I can literally just lay in bed and just watch uh, I lay in bed and just watch lay in bed and just like catch Pokemon all night long Golfer Allen Allen it's popping with you big dog. You got a rock rough. Why? Why do you have a rock rough dude? Why do you have to make my job hard again an electric type move would be Fucking superb right now. 
That'd be really, really great. Delilah, bring your ass out of here. We haven't seen you in a little while. We haven't seen you in a little while. In a short while. In a short while, we haven't seen you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That stamina, though. That stamina, though. Alright, catch this. Yo, what does high horsepower look like? Bro! That hoof mark, though. That hoof print. Get destroyed. It's like a super strong ground type stomp. Basically, earthquake. Almost earthquake. It's five points of damage and accuracy less than earthquake. Bro, high horsepower just bodies that bitch. That, I can see that. Oh, you can tell the difference between which doors you can open. I feel like that should be another one of those dual type moves. I should be like fighting ground. Hello? Get out. Gladion's in here? My dude! Get out. You need to get out more. You're pale. Bro? Can we be friends? Can we be buddies? Like, you're a really cool character. You really are, my dude. But you just gotta be so edgy and emo all the time. Like, you can have friends. It's okay. He's a terrible guard Pokemon, but my stubble is still super cute. Schnabba. Schnabba. No vacancies today, especially not with that room two doors down being rented out all non-stop all this time. The boy staying there has paid up two years worth of nights when he first got here. Though he's not so free with cash now as he used to be. Seems like Team Skull doesn't pay well enough to live off of. So this nigga lives here? He paid for two years worth of stay. That's kinda wild. That's kinda wild. He paid for two years worth of stay at the time. He must love Akala Island, goddamn. He must fucking absolutely love Akala Island, my lord. And it's such a, like, a remote hotel, too. Well, I mean, I guess if you're that edgy. Burble, burble, burble. Naturally, there are a lot of grass-type Pokemon in Lush Jungle. Do you know the type strong against grass? Fire, flying, and bugs, name a few. Who do you think would win in a matchup between Mask Royale and Crash Awake? Bro, Crash Awake would. Do you know about Poke Pelago? It's really funny if you deposit lots of Pokemon in your PC boxes. There are all kinds of islands to develop, and you can get lots of Poke Beans too. There's this Pokemon called Comfey that you can find in Lush Jungle that can, well, if you clear Malice Trial, you should spend some time searching for Pokemon in the jungle. Mm hmm. You can ride Charizard, can't you? Then I'll give you a good tip. Open your X menu with X. Then press R or push right to find the Poke Pelago island. You should give it a tap. Poke Pelago icon? Why does everybody want me to go to Poke Pelago? Why does everybody want me to go to Poke Pelago? Take me there! I wanna go there! Poke Pelago it is. Welcome! You've come to Poke Pelago! These uninhabited islands exist solely for the delight of Pokemon. But I suppose I should introduce myself, eh? Haha, <laughs> how rude of me. You can call me Mon. Hey, Mon! I'm in charge of keeping Poke Pelago running. And you are nappy, right? Okay, let's get things started. The Pokemon you deposit in your PC boxes can freely come here to Poke Pelago to have a bit of fun whenever they want. Right now, we only have one small aisle available for them to play on, but if you help me out, it won't be too for that dip dip. So here's what you need to do. Would you pick up the Poke Means that have fallen to the ground around the island? Pokemon love Poke Beans. They're delicious and nutritious. And they can also sprout into Poke Bean stalks like the one in the middle of the island. And the one you just picked up is a plain bean. There are also rare poke beans called pattern beans and even rainbow beans. I love hands-on learning, don't you agree? So why don't you give that poke beanstalk a good shake and see what happens. Shake the beanstalk to drop some poke beans. Pick up the poke beans to add to your stores. Okay, now you got it. See, isn't it better to learn by doing? You can collect poke beans once a day or so. If no new poke beans can tumble it down the wet a day and try again. Put some of the poke beans you collect to the poke bean crate on the island, would you? They'll be handy for any hungry Pokemon wander around the island to eat any time. So this is how you get more beans that you use when you care for your mods. Holy shit, dude. That bean stalk. Got a shit ton of fucking beans, my dude. We got a pattern bean. Two pattern beans. Three pattern beans. Wait, we got a rainbow bean? We got, oh, a whole bunch of pattern beans. Holy shit. Okay. How am I done? 
Yep, that's the Poke Bean crate right there. You can drop Poke Beans in there. Pokemon love you for it, especially here on Island I Beans. Island I Beans, all right. Leaving Poke Beans in the crate here can even help tempt wild Pokemon to come by and gander for some fun. Oh, yes, one more thing. The rare kinds of Poke Beans will have their effects last longer. You might want to remember that fact. But as long as you fill up the crate, then you won't worry. You'll be A-OK, -okay. don't you worry. And if you ever want to talk to me about things, don't need to feel shy. Just zip right over and to my raft hut. I want to leave. I, want to, I don't. Wonderful to see you again. I'm delighted to welcome you to my raft hut. This has been my own private castle since ever since the fateful day when I decided to turn these uninhabited islands into a resort for Pokemon. I built this place myself, and it's not too shabby if I dare say so myself. I have everything I could ever need to keep Pokebelago up and running. So, Nappy, I've got a favor to ask of a promising trainer like yourself. Pokebelago only features one small island at the moment, as you've seen. If you were to liken it to a Pokemon, it would be like a level 1 babe just hatched from its egg. So I'd like you and your Pokemon to put on some effort in developing the islands here. Developing the islands here basically means breaking ground on new islands or improving the facilities on islands you already started on. We'll borrow the strength of your Pokemon and you have in your boxes to do the work. Oh, and we'll need some plain beans. Don't forget those. No one can work well on an empty stomach. Okay, that's it for me right now. But come by, come see me in my raft hood any time that you want some help developing isles. I'm on here. I keep things running here at Pokepelago. Can I leave? Oh, look, those are our mods. That's Ram, our shiny Diglett. Our Pokemon were down there. So I guess just having mods there helps them develop it, I guess. That's that's how it works. So Lush Jungle is that way. These Wimpod run away. So is that all the trainers on the route? Olivia is the other person. That's the... Oh shit, we got a Zygarde core. Olivia, that's the Kahuna. I just want to make sure I battled everybody, that's all. Oh shit, we can surf here. Wimpods. Hey, Wimpod! I can't fucking fuck with the Wimpod? What the hell? Okay. Let's... Skedaddle on over here and see if there's oh shit There are two more trainers here You see if I wouldn't I would if I wouldn't have seen this I would have never known I would have ran back up there asked that trainer to battle me and she was like nope You didn't battle everybody yet This is our second double battle karate family Samuel and guy This is our second actual double battle Machop and Machop all right Twins Twins! Twinsies! Twinsies! Alright, Gabrielle. We're gonna air cutter this nigga right here. Oh, both of them. Gabrielle might handle this on her own, my dude. Shit. Gabrielle might just do the damn thing. Yeah! Jesus! Gabrielle's a monster! And to think Gabrielle wasn't intended to, like, chill on the team forever. Gabrielle is dicking niggas down. My goodness. My goodness. Teeter dance? You know what? Sure, why not? We don't use, uh... Peck is kind of useful from time to time. Feather dance would be useful as well. Baton pass? Let's get rid of Peck. Let's get rid of Peck for now. We All we ever use is air cutter as it is. So we have teeter dance, feather dance, and baton pass right now. Bro. 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 I was sitting there thinking, like, I want to use Solanda on the squad, but I want to turn Gabrielle into the Bylay form when we get to whatever the red flowers are, which I'm guessing is probably going to be the next island, which will mean that she'll be fire flying then, which means we'll have a fire type, and then we already have a poison type in Humongous, so do we really need a poison fire type as well with Solanda? I think we're going to pass on it. Oh, we got a water stone. That's dope. I like it when the game gives you, like, a standard spot to get useful items like that. It's so aggravating. I think, is it third gen or something like that? Where it's like, a certain trainer sometimes will give you a water stone. That's the only way you can get it at all. It's just like, that's so annoying to have to deal with. It's so annoying. Tentacool. Huh. My worst enemy. Tentacool. I see you, big dog. If you can live this air cutter, I'll catch you. Because I don't know. We haven't caught a tentacle yet. Haha. -ha. See, now it'd be nice to have Pluck. We could Pluck it and attempt to catch it, but we have Netballs. 
We don't have net balls, but we have dive balls. Haha! -ha. Dive balls work well in water types, right? Or is that just Mon that you fished with? Haha! -ha. Doesn't make a difference. But, 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 I can now go back to that Pokemon Center, whichever one it was, and get luxury balls now. Since, you know, we're fucking stacked to the fucking brim with money, my dudes. Money, money, yeah, yeah. That money, money, yeah, yeah. Now, this is female. I have the perfect nickname. I have the absolute perfect nickname for this. They can be found lying dehydrated on beaches where they're often still alive. When soaked in water, they will revive. Hip hop, you fucking don't stop. Team Skull should have these things. Mm, it's female, so we have the perfect name. I name all my tentacles Cruella. Cruella Deville. Cruella Deville. Alright, so I think that that's all the trainers on Route 8. So let's slip and slide back up here. Those wind pods don't want to fuck with us right now. They know we're the real fucking deal. Let's slip and slide back up here. We still got the Fossil Research Center to explore. Yo, we did a shit ton today. My goodness. We met Chorus. Hey, yo, lady. You beat all the trainers along Route 8? Then it looks like it's finally time, my time to shine. Let's get things started, shall we? Yes, please! Then here I go. It's time for me and my Pokemon Z-powered performance. Hello? She's got a Z-move? Or a Z? Is Z so? She's, she's an island challenger. Ace trainer, Eileen. What Z-move you got, girl? Wingle? Oh, please don't tell me you have a Water MZ. See, now would be perfect time for an Electric-type move, Gabrielle! It really would be! We got this. Air cut of this hoe. Water Pulse? Laughable. Absolutely laughable. Look at the damage we're about to do. Yah! Destroyed. Where's that Z-move at now? Hmm? Where's your Z-move at now, Ho? Firo? Keep battling. Are we about to see the flying type Z move early? Or are you gonna use the norm normally MZ? Aerial Ace. Or are you gonna show us no Z move at all? It's nothing! We resist that shit! Bro, you made us fight every other trainer on this route. You made us fight every other trainer on this goddamn route. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! We about to get blown away! Supersonic Sky Strike! We resist it! We're gonna swallow it! Oh my god! Bro! Jesus! It's not very effective. <laughs> Suck a big dick! Oh my god, and the crit to bring it back! Yo, Gabby don't give a fuck. Maybe we shouldn't change Gabby's typing. Maybe we should keep it electric flying. I think it's the best. It's the best typing, I think, out of all the Ori Corios. But still, I want the Bylay one. I like that design the best. Bro, she just got the absolute dick. Oh my god. The absolute dickage. My hoodie is messing up. Here, I got you, big dog. You just swallowed a Z move. So that's two Z moves that have been used on us that we have. Look at my hoodie. What the fuck? That's two Z moves that have been used on us that we've absolutely just swallowed. I meant to give you a bean, too. Jesus, you are trash. Give me that flying type Z move. Well, that's the end of me and my Pokemon Z Power Performance. Thanks for taking part in the show. Take this with you as a souvenir. TM58 Sky Drop. No, give me the Flyum Z or whatever the fuck it's called. I bet you can find other full force trainers like me along routes in Alola looking for strong foes to take on in battle. Wouldn't it be fun to take a little detour and search them all out? Well, so far you're the second one. And I whooped that other nigga's ass back on Melee Melee Island. I whooped your ass on Akala Island. But I think that's enough ass win for one episode. Because right now, I think we're going to wrap up today's episode. We fought everyone along Route 8. The next time, we'll check out the fossil area and hopefully catch a stuff as well and head to Lush Jungle for our fourth island trial. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, and of course, if you're a proud member of the Nappy Nation, make sure you smash the like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. And of course, can't nobody let's play a motherfucking game like the Nappy Nation can. So thank you all once again for your support and thank you for checking out the video. Let me drop you off on the PC, my dude. And thank you for drop... And thank you for checking out the video. With that, though, I'm gonna get up out of here. Bye!